Well, hello, Internet. It's me again. I thought I'd make a video and tell you all about an episode I had probably about a little over a year ago. Yeah, it was at least a year ago, probably a little bit more. I kind of, um, this is embarrassing. I kind of had a, an episode, um, I relapsed from gear acquisition syndrome. Yeah, it was bad. I was having a moment where I just had to freaking buy something. I mean, it was I just I couldn't handle it any longer. And what I got was a Fuji X Pro Three, right here, a used one, with the thirty-five millimeter f one point four, both in mint condition for five hundred bucks. I don't know if I was actually having relapse or is just an offer I couldn't refuse because this lens worth about oh, 500 bucks. I mean, they're, I mean, this is a beautiful camera. Just absolutely gorgeous. There's the back of it. Yeah, this baby's just absolutely gorgeous camera. It's kind of a strange camera, actually. It's got an optical viewfinder. It's a rangefinder. X-Pro3. It's got an optical viewfinder. And if you hit this lever, it switches over to an electronic viewfinder. So that's pretty cool. I mainly use the optical viewfinder, and it's a big viewfinder, too, and it's really nice. I've got the Fuji X-E4, the smaller little rangefinder camera. That's like a lot smaller than this, and the viewfinder in that sucks compared to this one. I mean, this is a nice viewfinder. Another weird thing about this camera is the screen on the back is closed. The only way to see the back screen is you have to pull the pull it down like that to view it. I mean, I normally shoot with the viewfinder, but there's occasionally times I like to get low and I can pop this out and it works fine like that. But if you just want to glance down at it to look at it, you, it's not there. You got to open this up to look at the, or, or you have to switch the optical viewfinder over to electronic viewfinder and do the menu system in the viewfinder, which sucks. I mean, but I mean, it's no big deal. I kind of got used to it. And I know, and it's, it's kind of heavy, like the X-T5. It's almost a little bit bigger than the X-T5, almost. But um, I ended up getting a grip for it with the base plate, the Arca Swiss mount right here for a tripod. And I got a thumb grip for it right here. I don't know if it'll focus on it, but. I got the thumb grip right there, and it's easy to hold on to. Kind of have a love-hate relationship with this camera. I don't shoot with it very often, but when I do, I sure enjoy it. But it's not one of those cameras that I grab every time I go out. I'm usually taking the X-T5 or, you know, it's, it's just one of those cameras that I got to be in the mood to shoot with it, I guess. I mean. And this lens right here, 35 millimeter f1.4. I understand why there's a kind of sort of like a cult following with this thing. This lens is it's just got unique character. And I mean, every picture you take with it, it just looks well, just looks good. I mean, it's, it's an awesome lens. It's not the sharpest lens. Like I said, every pitch you take with it just it just looks good. And um yeah, I've got I kind of made a little kit with this. I got the 35 1.4, the 18 millimeter F2, which is another one of those lenses that just not the sharpest lens there is, but every picture looks good. It's got got character. And then I got the 56 millimeter. Sigma lens, the 1.4 lens. Now this lens is incredibly sharp, but I hardly ever shoot with this focal length. But for the kit, I got 
like the uh, full frame equivalent is like a 28 millimeter, a 50 millimeter, and an 85 millimeter. So it makes this kit kind of versatile, you know. Like I said, I normally just use this lens on it or this one, but I mean, almost every time I've ever used this camera, it's always been with this lens. Occasionally I'll put the 18 millimeter on it if I need to go a little bit wider, but another thing with this lens, excellent lens for black and white photography put the film simulation the acros fuji acros film simulation in this lens makes excellent black and white photos i i kind of tweaked the film simulation a little bit to add a little bit more contrast and darken the shadows a little bit and to get it like the way i like it but that's i now, this whole kit fits in this little bag right here. Kind of makes me look like I'm carrying a purse, but... I mean, I ain't got no friends, and wherever I go, there ain't no people around, so I guess carrying a purse ain't no big deal. But anyways, that's my little Fuji X-Pro3 kit, which I absolutely love. But like I said, I don't grab it every time I go. But when I do, I have fun with it. It's a fun camera. And it's a powerhouse of a camera, too. It's got that 26 megapixel sensor. And it's just, I mean, it, it's an excellent camera. But it's just different. I think that's why it makes it so fun to use. I mean, it, it's just a different kind of camera. It really looks like a film camera, actually. But that's what they wanted, I guess. But yeah, it's a cool camera. I love it. I don't regret my relapse. And, um, yeah, for 500 bucks. I can sell it for a thousand probably with this lens for sure. Anyways, that's all I got to say about that. Talk to you later. Bye.